folks, I'm going to continue with the story from February 2019 installing the new display panel on the monster. I just, I want to get this story finished because what I'm going to be doing soon, recently, is, I should say currently, is I'm going to be making reference to the part again. So I'd kind of like to show that because I've mentioned it a couple times and you don't know, have any idea what I'm talking about yet, so I kind of want to get this part done and caught up. So, I got the notice from the post office. Part's ready to pick up. And I'm kind of in a hurry to get this done, get the monster going, because we do have a, a threat of a storm coming. And as you watch me backing up there, I'm backing into the post, because if you don't remember, I don't have a break on the S950. And this is on an incline, so if I just leave it there, it'll roll out onto the street. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm using my voice recorder today, so hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. Yes, oops. Not very tight here. SJ cam may be good at video, but stop. But it's not very good at picking up my voice. So I got the monster's part today. I already did this once. I didn't realize I hadn't turned the camera on yet, so I missed me opening the box. Yeah, looking inside and discovering that there's no throttle. Unfortunately, if it's the throttle that's the problem, then possibility is there. that just replacing the control panel isn't going to solve the problem. So apparently this isn't connected any way, shape, or form except that it's just screwed on to the base. So I gotta remove it from here and put it on here. There I go. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Can you see what I see here? This is the old one. It's got two tabs for the screws. This is the new one. Tab's broken. Brand new part and the tab's broken. And it is not in the box. Brand new part from Hartway comes broken. Go figure. Ask me if I'm impressed. Unbelievable. Okay, so I gotta take these off. And put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And that might be this right here. So it is only one screw that I won't be able to tighten. So as long as it doesn't rattle around too much, it should be okay. I hope. <coughs> See, I don't like the way... I'm not exactly sure how that works, but... I really don't want to take it apart and put all the guts into the new or the new guts into the old part just for one screw hole too much work and I don't want to take a chance on messing anything up so I'll just suck it up deal with it <coughs> it just adds to the stupidity of this company as like I say, the part, the part that's broken off is not in the package. So it didn't get broken in transit. <sighs> Unbelievable. Okay. 
Now let's start putting things back together. Use the hole first. Down in there. Get in there. There we go. Come on. Cooperate. Correctly, it would probably be easier before I plug it in or attach it. These are the plugs that attach the outside switches to the unit. Are you backwards? Yeah, if you're backwards. I gotta twist it around. That's one thing I don't like about the monster. Well, one other thing I don't like is I don't leave you any extra wire to play with. Okay, that was right the first time. You got just enough to reach what you're doing. But not enough to get your fingers in to actually do it. Ew. Okay. So that's the hard to reach. Plugs at the back. No room here for my big boots. Be back. There we go. It should be okay with only one screw. Hopefully. I guess technically three screws all together. Three out of the four. So I'm going to stick it in the hole. Just so I have it. If I ever need it someday in the future, I've got it. at the back. Lined up okay. It's a matter of actually getting in to see them. I'll do this one first. Yeah, 
right angle to work on here. And this piece of metal here that the beeper is mounted to, and it gets like wings. Real oh, pain in the neck trying to work around that because my knuckles keep hitting it. in the plastic when the screw is tight all the way through you just never know when it's all the way in it's really where did it go it's really easy to over tighten screws in plastic I never really worry about torque because I'm for, ow 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 I'm pretty good at guessing the tightness of things in steel and aluminum but with plastic yeah, that's a little more difficult to do okay let me just pull this up into place first the wires I just leave you just enough space Cable back in. Our speedometer wire, I believe they call it. No. Just can't get my hands in there. Okay. See what happens when I turn it on. No error. Full charge. Display is full. It says plus six degrees Celsius. I don't think so. It hasn't cooled down to the outside temperature yet. Uh, the part I don't like. Zero kilometer total distance travel. Okay, forward and reverse works. Turn some lights on, see what happens. Guess what? I turn the lights on, I get an error. It's in error mode. Look guys, it's the throttle. 
turn it on. Everything is fine. Turn the light on. It goes into error mode immediately. Bet you it'll say error code 7. Yep, error code 7. And that is a throttle error. <sighs> now, I just can't win. Cannot win. Yeah. The camera back on its mount. Just can't win. So the problem is actually with the throttle itself. The actual throttle. Apparently. I just wonder what all these extra plugs down here are for. So I am going to attempt something here. <clears throat> Are you not loud? Looking forward to driving this. how this works. It almost looks like it's magnetic. Like a magnetic pickup. I don't know what could be wrong with it. Nothing that I can physically see that I could even attempt it trying to whoop, trying to fix is everything is enclosed in this old epoxy package. <clears throat> understand why the throttle would interfere with the lights. It doesn't make sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. And that's without the throttle. Turn it on, it automatically goes into reverse. So... I just, I don't get it. I don't. Because it works. And then... It's fine. So as soon as I turn a light on, it goes into throttle error. And as 
soon as I turn the light on, error mode. What's that got to do with the throttle? What else is there? There's nothing left to fix other than the stupid throttle. Bad wire or something, but that doesn't explain the lights. get it. I do not understand what is happening here. Why do the lights generate a throttle error? See, I turned the light on and it went into reverse. I don't have any other explanation or any explanation period I just I don't know I do not know What to say? See, now it's automatically in. Nothing's changed. Absolutely nothing has changed. It's got to be the throttle. It has to be. So tired of this. A big snowstorm coming. I was expecting to be able to drive the monster in it finally. Obviously, that's not going to happen.
Now, this was a year ago. I already know what the problem was. Um, something very simple, stupid, but simple. Uh, based on what you've seen, yeah, everything's fine. The throttle works perfectly until I turn the lights on or the four-way flashers and every once in a while it won't charge and every once in a while if I'm sitting still it'll just go into reverse by itself without even touching the throttle so I've changed the controller made no difference I just changed the display panel it didn't make any difference so how the lights are interfering with the throttle, I have no clue. So, like I say, I already know what the problem is. That's nothing I would even suspect. <laughs> I've kind of found it accidentally. So, I'm curious. Can anybody figure this out? Anybody else have experience with this? Do you have any clue what's happening here? Um... The actual problem to me really has nothing to do with anything that I'm looking at. So that's the only hint I'll give you. And if you've watched my older videos, um, <laughs> I kind of hinted at it. But if you can figure it out, let me know. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.